All right, I just want to make a little bit of an announcement here because uh, I stepped my game up a little bit, okay? Here's what happened, right? I just want to break the truth to everybody. Jiu-Jitsu boosts confidence and reinforces the mind, soul, and body because I just signed up at the new gym, right? And I'm like, hey, so then I was like, I better get looking good you know, for when I'm training, so I gotta go get a haircut. So then, right, the same day after I trained, I go to get a haircut. The chick's like, you know those cape things they put around your neck? She was like, hey, oh, so she put it on me. She's like, oh, sorry, is that tight, too tight? And I was like, girl, you don't even know what tight is. Fucking doing jujitsu is tight. Let me give you a personal lesson. So then I threw the cape on her and choked her unconscious, dropped her to the ground, then was like, oh, sorry. She got up and said, wow, thanks. She cut my hair for free. So then, uh, the next thing you know, I go to eat, and then I'm wearing this shirt that's totally rocking a freaking jujitsu logo on it. And then the hottest girl in Franklin County, Missouri, walks up to me and says, hey, nice shirt, okay? Do you think all this is just happening by coincidence? No, this is what jujitsu really does to people. It's like it's like the original form of magic, right? Tell me I didn't break my jujitsu uh, grappling dummy's arm off ever since I started doing Gracie jujitsu. You can't you can't tell me I didn't rip this dude's arm off, bro. I did. It's a nice summer day. I'm about to drive to Chicago. And, um, and attend the UFC event and watch Colby Chaos Covington fight rep America. I could care less. I don't. I don't have anything against Brasilia. I like it there. I've never been. I'm going. I was like watching um, the videos on the internet of my new favorite rapper, Colby Covington. Whatever. He was like talking about. Tyron Woodley's in Hollywood acting. He said he's acting just like a shit. I'm here in Chicago, seems like everywhere I go, I pull up on a fucking graffiti wall straight up. I just have a knack for finding super sick graffiti. I'm out here repping, repping these streets, uh, repping the graffiti scene. I'm standing on a fire hydrant right now. Fucking just giving y'all an update on the super sick graffiti. arrived at uh, Burnham Skate Park in Chicago. Looks like I got the park all to myself. There's nobody here on scooters, skateboards, rollerblades, bikes. I'm about to fucking shred this shit and hit ill, Ill techniques and uh, bring rollerblading back and make rollerblading great again. Let everybody know who the real last rollerblader is. I guess that'll conclude my trip to this skate park because I'm starting to sweat. And there's no restrooms here. I think somebody peed in the fucking pool over there. The bowl or whatever. I think it was a kid on a scooter. It definitely wasn't me. Signing out from uh, UFC 225 right here. Uh, Colby Covington's the new world champion. Here's a fight recap. Holly Holm is the winner. Yeah, I'm here at the U Yo, I'm here at the UFC gym in Chicago. Rain or shine, nothing stops us from training, buddy. It is pouring down rain. We do not stop training here. Rain or rain or shine, we deliver. I'm checking out from the UFC gym, Chicago. We did a intense bag workout. I kicked this bag right here. It's ass all over this gym. This concludes my trip to UFC gym, Chicago. Here's a poster on the wall. I'm about to rip this thing off the wall and take it home with me. I don't think anybody's gonna notice. Tyron Woodley is a little scared and he's scared of me.
and the real gangster is me, and the real lonely stoner is me. I'm just gonna go ahead and start practicing the lyrics to the hardest diss song in the history of fucking rap music while I'm driving home. Uh, yeah, let's see if Kid Cudi can match bars like this. All right. The takeover, the shake's over. You can tell Kid Cudi it's game over. It's time to heal the toxic shame of a fake stoner. Cause Scott Mescadi is a fake ID. Faker than a transgender woman to be on MTV. Dressing like me, but he can't keep a micro expression like me. It don't take Paul Ekman to fucking distinguish your body language. Says you're a fake bitch. That's why I'm here to extinguish your flame like rain hits. Cause I'm free base and you're a vape kit. You and Jaden Smith are on the same shit, gay shit. Reenacting the scenes to six degrees of separation. So tell Pete Davidson, Angel Husbands, suck my dick on a GL1 cannon. Yeah, shout out to Colby Covington. You know, never going Hollywood, keeping shit real. You know, uh, fuck Nelly. Fuck people from STL that won't respond to me when I call them Hollywood and fake. But uh, Nelly knows that I'm the real Lonely Stoner because I don't care if you fuck Nelly and all of his crew. Kiwan, you're a midget. You dress like me too. You can tell T. Wood, then here comes the boom because Nellyville is falling ill and will be dying soon. The 5% nation, idolatrous fool. So when you do the mathematics, it's equal to douche. St. Lunatics are yesterday's news. And everybody knows who's the realest in the loo. And it ain't you. And everybody can see. Kiwan's a leprechaun, or at least trying to be. And Ali look like a gay Gandhi. And Murphy Lee still trying to get his GED. All y'all sound like bitches to me. Can't none of y'all spit like a vicious MC. Big Kerm, a real motherfucking G. I got St. Louis screaming, fuck Nelly. Kid Cudi, why you, Joe Rogan? Why you ducking?